Hello there. I'm Dr. Struby. I'm a chiropractic physician in Pinellas Park, Florida. Wanted to cover a couple items about what types of injuries take place with different types of automobile accidents. There are any number of different ways you can be injured in an automobile, but the most common is rear end collisions and front end collisions. And depending on which of those a person is involved in, there are different injuries associated with each of those. With a front end impact, the driver is thrown forward, their head is flexed violently forward, stretching and tearing things in back, compressing and crushing things in front. Also, oftentimes that person has their hands on the steering wheel and their wrist can bend in or out, injuring their wrist. That's not uncommon. Seat belts coming across the abdomen and then across the shoulder. As you're thrown forward, that seat belt locks. Now you've got this tight thing, so it can injure your chest and ribs. It can bruise your abdomen. If the airbag deploys, there are other injuries associated with that. All of these uh, things caused by the seat belt and the airbag are much less of a problem than if you didn't have those. Without a seat belt and airbags and you have a front end collision, you may very well go through the windshield or at the very least slam up against the steering wheel, neither of which would be particularly good for you. But with a front end collision, it is more the being thrown forward and the violent flexing of the head and neck that is most likely to cause problems. In a rear end collision, it's sort of the reverse. You are impacted from the rear, your car is shoved violently forward. Inertia works in a way that would, your body wants to stay at rest. So the car is gonna be sliding forward, you wanna stay right where you are. So as the car moves forward, you're going backwards, your seat is gonna bend way back. Your head and neck are gonna hyperextend, thereby stretching and tearing things in front, compressing and crushing things in back, the opposite of the way it was when you were thrown forward in a front end collision. But as that seat loads up an instant later, it releases, throwing you violently forward, and now you are hyperflexing your neck, hyperextending the back. So with a rear end collision, you get the worst of both worlds. You get the same forces applied to you that you would if you were in a front end collision, plus you get the forces of being hit from behind. Um, the most likely way to be injured is in a rear end collision. And uh, those can be very problematic. They're also very common. So first and foremost, drive carefully. If you do get involved in an automobile accident and are having problems, get yourself evaluated and if necessary, get yourself treated. You'll be glad you did. So I want you all to have a good day and uh, thanks for your time.